Well, so fingolimod uh, was approved now more, almost 10 years ago as the, the first oral medication uh, to treat relapsing uh, multiple sclerosis. And, and since that time, we've, we've had extensive experience with its use. So it's, it's turned out to be a, a, an effective therapy uh, in reducing uh, relapses, um, uh, probably in reducing the accumulation of disability in relapsing MS. Uh, and reducing MRI lesion activity and, and brain volume loss. Uh, it's also done that uh, uh, with a good uh, safety and tolerability uh, record. Um, uh, generally, fingolimod is very well tolerated, and it's uh, given as an oral medication, which has been uh, convenient. The, the main issue with, with fingolimod, however, has been that uh, because it interacts with four of the five sphingosine 1-phosphate S1P receptors, uh, it has the potential for some off-target uh, uh, adverse effects. So that's led to the need for uh, first-dose monitoring uh, uh, because of cardiac effects, um, uh, uh, assessment for macular edema uh, after uh, treatment is initiated, uh, uh, and periodic blood tests uh, to look for uh, liver abnormalities and so forth. So the, the hope was is that by developing uh, more selective S1P modulators uh, that we would maintain the, the efficacy of fingolimod but uh, avoid some of the off-target uh, adverse effects. So, so the, the available DMTs uh, represent a, a, a range of mechanisms of action. Uh, some of them are uh, primarily immunomodulatory, so uh, interferon, uh, glutiramoracetate, um, uh, uh, teraflunamide, um, uh, dimethyl fumarate, those are pr primarily uh, immunomodulatory. Uh, and then there are uh, several uh, uh, medications that um, uh, uh, delete certain aspects of the immune system. So um, the anti CD20 monoclonal antibodies uh, uh, kill B cells, uh, alemtuzumab kills uh, both B and T cells that express uh, CD52. Uh, and then there are some me uh, medications. Uh, such as fingolimod, which interfere with lymphocyte uh, trafficking. Um, uh, and specifically, the, the S1P modulators inhibit the migration of uh, lymphocytes out of lymph nodes, uh, prevents them from trafficking into the circulation, and presumably, uh, as a result, uh, uh, prevents them from uh, or, or lessens their, their entry into the central nervous system where they cause abnormal inflammation. Uh, and then natalizumab, uh, blocks uh, the entry of, of immune cells into the central nervous system. So, so that final category would be medications that affect lymphocyte uh, migration.